Hello, this is Nick with Hawkins Precision. I want to take a few moments today to talk about our lineup of 100 DBMs and 100 magazines. About two years ago or so, we were getting some requests for a lighter, sleeker bottom metal to go with some flush or almost flush magazines. So we came out with our line of 100 DBMs and 100 magazines. And I'll take a few moments now here to go over some of the features of the bottom metal and of the magazines themselves. Some features of the bottom metal, the magazine release is inside the trigger guard on the 100 DBM. The reason we did that is so there's a very low likelihood that you could bump the magazine release and lose your magazine. What we didn't want someone doing is realizing when they got to the glassing spot that they bumped their magazine release and it's five miles down the trail. With this design, which is the Obendorf design, there's a very low likelihood that that's gonna happen. Another cool feature is both the long action and the short action Hunter DBMs are in the M5 inlet pattern. So when you're ordering your stock, just get that Hawkins M5 inlet and you're good to go. You can do that with Manners, McMillan, AG Composites, all the great stock companies. Just make sure to get that Hawkins M5 inlet and you're all set. What you also notice too is unlike our M5 DBM, there's no barricade stop or anything like that on here. We've worked really hard to make this bottom metal sleek and light which is perfect for a hunting setup, and you still get to use a magazine, which is, which is great. Starting off with our short action magazines, there's two different versions. We have a standard bolt face short action magazine and then a magnum bolt face short action magazine. For the standard bolt face, it's for your 308s, your 6.5 Creedmoors, your 7.08s. Uh, cartridge overall length on that is 2.880, and they have a four round capacity. That's basically like an AICS magazine with a binder plate. For the Magnum version, we have a cartridge overall length of 2.980. One thing to keep in mind if you're gonna run, like say a 6.5 PRC in a short action, and you're gonna use these magazines, you may have to notch the feed ramp on your action. Um, when the bullet comes up without a binder plate, on actions that don't have a notched feed ramp, it could get stuck under that feed ramp. So you might need to take it to a gunsmith have them put it in the mill and just notch that feed ramp for you. And that way, when the bullet's coming up, passes through the feed ramp and then you can run it home with the bolt. Uh, another, another cool thing about the bottom metal itself and magazines and the short action version, you can use AICS pattern magazines. Uh, we recommend the AI brand, uh, MDT and Accurate for those. But if you wanted to, let's say, use your Hunter mag for hunting, but you wanted to use the rifle for maybe NRL Hunter or competitions or maybe just a range day, you could use five and 10 round AICS magazines in that as well. So those are some of the features of the short action and now I'll move into the long action magazines. Moving on to the long action version, we have two different magazines. We have one that'll work with 300 PRC or 28 Nosler and then one will work for 300 Norma Mag and 338 Lapua. Both of those magazines are three round capacity and have a cartridge overall length of 3.770. One thing to keep in mind though about the long action hunters, you need to pair the long action hunter DBM with a long action hunter magazine. To get the feeding that we wanted, to get the cartridge overall length that we wanted, we had to go with our own magazine profile. So you can't use say an accurate CIP plus or an MDT CIP plus magazine in the long action hunter. You have to use one of our magazines. Also want to put out a caveat, we get some questions about 300 Win Mag or 7 Rem Mag in our 300 PRC magazine. Um, we really suggest if you're going to go with a belted Magnum to maybe go with a BDL like an M5 Aubendorf or one of our standard Aubendorfs. They feed much better out of a hinge floor plate than a magazine. Uh, in the magazine they're a little bit noisy, a little bit hitchy to feed. So if you're going to go with the 300 Win Mag, I would go with like an M5 Aubendorf. It'll give you a little extra cartridge overall length and you can seed out some heavy bullets long in your, in your Win Mag. If you're going to go with the 300 PRC, definitely go with the, with the Long Action Hunter. It's a great setup and you could run your 28 Nosler in there as well and they'll work great. Thanks for watching. Have to say the Hawkins Hunter DBM in magazines has been probably the most popular product launch that the company has ever had. We really appreciate everybody that's using them right now. They've been on a lot of hunts this year. They've gotten on a lot of custom rifles and we have a lot of really happy customers. I will say we're gonna have some new options in short action magazines coming and we're gonna have some new long action magazines coming and we may have something that's a little medium 
as well coming soon. So be sure to like and subscribe to uh, find out about that when we release that information. Visit HawkinsPrecision.com as well. Thanks for watching. See you at the range.